This is the Digix team. We're here to introduce and unbox the new BT100 Digix Mini Boom Portable Bluetooth Speaker. As you can see here, we have five different colors. The purple, red, blue, orange, and black. We're going to be unboxing the blue speaker today. We're going to go ahead and move the rest of them out of the way here. So as we're opening the box, you will be able to peel off the plastic cover on the top, remove the speaker, and at the very bottom, you're going to see another little black cardboard at the bottom. You can go ahead and take that out. Under that, you're going to see the USB to micro USB charger, as well as three different papers. So one of them is going to be the guide and setup guide that's going to show you how to use the speaker. There is the warranty card that's going to go over your limited one year warranty as well as the information on how to contact Digix customer support through their toll free number, email, or the website. The USB cord can be used to charge the speaker. So let's go ahead and show you the buttons that are available. So you're going to go ahead and open the back flap here. You're going to see two things. You will see the on and off switch. You'll be able to use that to turn it on. You'll hear a tone when it turns on. That will indicate that it's powered on. You will also see the micro USB port. That can be used with the USB cord that's included. As you can see in the photo in the back, that can be used to plug into your computer. You can also use it to plug into your car charger as well as a wall charger. On the other side of the speaker, you will also see the buttons. So there's three buttons available at this time. There is the volume up button, volume down button, as well as the call button. We'll come back to the call button later. One of the significant features of this new speaker is the suction cup at the bottom. Do note there's a little sticker that will be on the bottom in the suction cup. You can go ahead and remove that. That will allow you to use the suction to its full advantage. The suction cup can be used to stick the speaker just about anywhere that has a flat surface. You can also use it as a tablet or cell phone stand. As you can see here, we're using the Samsung cell phone. You can use that. It also works on tablets. So this is a 10 inch tablet here. You can use one of the speakers. And that's going to go ahead and hold that up right for you. The other significant thing is going to be the silicone cover. The silicone cover is removable. So let's say you take this to the beach, you get sand all over it and you need to wash it, but don't want to get the speaker dirty. You can go ahead and remove the silicone cover and wash it and then place it back on. This also allows you to interchange the silicone covers with other colors for some zany little mix up colors there. The silicone cover also makes it very useful because this speaker is going to be water resistant. Now do note this is water resistant, it's not waterproof, so you cannot just throw it inside the pool or inside the shower, but you can go ahead and stick it on the wall while you're taking a shower, listen to some music in the morning, or you can even take it to your next pool party and put the speaker closer to the pool where it's allowed to get wet and splashed and so on while your expensive cell phone or tablet is kept dry. So the water resistance is certified. It is IPX5. That is going to mean it's been tested with jet propulsion from all angles without any quality change within the speaker. The next feature is going to be the microphone. So this really sets this Bluetooth speaker apart from most others. 
and the fact that you can use this inside the car to take phone calls. It's easy to sync again all you do is sync it to your phone using Bluetooth. So we'll go ahead and show you how to sync it to the phone and how to take calls as well as listen to music and video. So we will use the Android phone here again the Samsung Galaxy S3. You're going to turn on the Bluetooth. Once you've turned it on you will click on scan if it does not automatically scan go ahead and select scan. BT100 will show up Go ahead and click on that and it should pair. Once it has paired, it will stay connected to media audio. If you select the gear next to that for setting, note that there are two different profiles using most Android phones here. Using the Galaxy S3 phone, there's a call audio. In this case, it was unchecked. We'll want to make sure to check mark it so that when a call comes in, you will be able to answer it. Please note, if that is not checked, you will not be able to answer the call with the speaker. It will only work with music. So we'll go ahead and take a call here. So you can hear the tone here. Now all you need to do is press the call button, that's the middle button. You're going to hear a little tone and now you'll be able to host phone calls with anyone else. Alright, so moving on, you will also be able to use your device, whether it's an MP3 player, a cell phone or tablet to play music. So as you can see, this little speaker really does have quite a loud volume. Now, if you go ahead and press the volume down button multiple times, the volume will go down and you will hear a little tone right along with that. The tone is going to indicate as well the volume on there. All right, so now we'll go ahead and show you video. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and use Hulu. So using our Hulu Plus app on our cell phone here, we'll be able to play video. And again, you can use that suction cup to go ahead and use it as a stand, which is going to allow you to watch the video while either holding the speaker so it's a little bit easier to grip or by having it set on a table. This is really great if you have multiple people watching it. You can just put it in the middle. No one's fighting over that. So thank you for tuning in to our unboxing of the Digix Mini Boom speaker, the BT100. We're very excited about this new product. And if you have any questions, please visit our website at contelusa.net.